Yo, what it is, YouTube? It's your boy Nitz. So coming back with another bullseye of a tutorial here today. I'm gonna show y'all how y'all can use um, this special plugin right here, which is the Galaxy Tape Echo. It comes with the UAD Spark Pack, and it's an amazing echo to give some effects, right? I want to show you guys today how I was able to create, um, you know, a very special moment that the listener could engage with, giving them a big sense of space, making it like kind of sound out of this world, something weird to just, you know, uh, give the listener some ear candy, you know. A earworm so let's hear how it sounds today i got the artist right here rico um you know and i'll just look, go ahead and link here his profile down below so y'all can hear but let's pay attention to this specific moment i did right here look like her lips can kill she said her name was roxy told her don't pop no pill and no want her love i just want a couple men she look like her lips can kill she said her name was roxy told her don't pop no pill and no want her love all right, so let's go into that today. I was I was using the uh, the plugin right here, which is the uh, Galaxy Tape Echo, right? So this Galaxy um, Tape Echo is kind of like simulating a throwback analog, um, you know, kind of like a tape delay that they used to do back in the days. I believe that this uh, EP34 Echo right here is kind of like the cousin to the um, Galaxy Echo that we have right here that we're showing off today. And you got to understand that with this, uh, you know, these types of delays, right? They're kind of pretty much good as well because they kind of give you like a saturation that the tape also has, has as well, right? So you could give yourself like a clean vocal on the top, but then have like a kind of tape, a dark kind of, um, you know, very colored uh, delay that will give the listener some contrast, right? So the difference between this one and this one really, it's more looking like this one has three tape heads, as you can see right here. The tape heads are, um, you know, you can have them playing at different speeds, which can create some very, very unique earworms some very candies. This plugin is very versatile. I don't use it as my main delay, but I love using it as what I call my TikTok machine, right? So I feel like every engineer, every producer, they need a TikTok machine. Well, what is that, Nick? Um, you know, I'm calling it a TikTok machine because it's a, a plugin or just anything. Not It doesn't even necessarily have to be a delay, but any effects processor that helps you, you know, create something weird for the listener, right? In a situation like this, what I did with this ad lib for Rico right here is I kind of created like a one shot. You know, Dr. Dre is one of those, um, you know, people who what he used to do is he would give you like a, an effect. Right. And he would give you like a kind of like a one shot ad lib. Right. Something that's good that the, that would make the listener want to get more. Right. Because that's what the Galaxy Tape Echo is. It's kind of like ear candy. It actually kind of sounds like a tornado. Let's let's listen to it in solo and kind of hear, um, you know, what it what it kind of sounds like. So you can hear that the uh, the tape, the Galaxy tape is very good in the way it just breaks up. You know, it kind of has like a crispiness to it, you know, and you can also control that with the tape head. You have uh, three types of tape, the new, which is very good for like a kind of like a clean, pristine vocal. And then you have the uh, older versions, which is the used in the old tape. And it's just it's just very good in the way it breaks up. You know, I love the H delay as well in the way it breaks up, the way when you click space, how it just kind of like disintegrates a little bit. I love the uh, Galaxy tape echo as my TikTok machine, you know, because it lets the listener get into the um song pay attention you know the delay actually kind of sounds like a hurricane a little bit it reminds me of a hurricane or a tornado So I'm from South Florida. I know a lot of you um, aren't, maybe might not possibly be from there, but that's kind of like what a hurricane sounds like, right? And what does a hurricane do? It pulls people in. So I like to use this Galaxy Tape Echo, you know, as like my TikTok machine, um, just to go ahead and pull the listener in, right? Because it's, it's giving contrast up against my uh, H delay, right? So you need to be very precautious about the delays and when you use it, because if you use too much delay, right? the listener won't even be able to identify a moment like that, right? I just loved how, you know, I just put a lot of emphasis on that moment. I stopped the beat as well as doing that kind of like that one shot ad lib to let the listener know, hey, this is special. Like this is your moment when you can get sucked into the song, right? And I'm always focused on doing something like that because I want to make the song be more than just a song. I want it to be like an interaction, right? So the song right here that I have from Rico, it's kind of like a house, right? I see every mix like a house, right? And 
I like to use the Galaxy um, Tape Echo to take the top off the house, right? To, to take the roof off the house. Imagine if you were sitting in your house, right? And then all of a sudden, the roof came off. You would be like, oh my God, like, what's going on here, right? So that's what I do as an engineer. I use ways of pulling and surprising the listener, right? And that helps them engage. It becomes more in a song. It becomes like, oh, this is my favorite part. This is my favorite part right here. So let's listen to how this would have been a missed opportunity if I would have not had that moment right here to give me like this out of out of this world vocal so let's bypass it and let's listen to it regular she said her name was roxy told her true she wanna fuck on me and she look like her lips can kill she said her name was roxy told her pop no pill and no her love i just wanna so what I did is I actually went in there and I actually cut it up. That wasn't an original ad lib that he did, right? So I cut up the, the actual verse that I had right there because I was like, man, I just love that line that he gave me. So as an engineer, you know, sometimes you might not even have an ad lib, but you might have to create your own ad lib. So let's pay attention to how sometimes you can create like uh, your own ad lib, right? What I did is I actually cut out this part. I dragged it down and I actually kind of like shifted it a little bit, right? Because I just love how that transi of the poo came out of his voice. So I just used that as like a way to enhance it and give the listener a moment give them something that they can engage with right they've been listening to this whole song that i want to give them a little reward something that they can get on camera and do uh you know so you know i believe that it's very important to have these ear candy out of the world ad libs and that's why i'm stressing ad libs so much lately is just due to the fact that you know it lets the listener give the song some replay value now i could imagine like maybe some you know kid or some a girl doing like a TikTok. all right so let's go ahead and look into the controls a little bit right with the galaxy so you it's like a hybrid baby you have the option between uh you know which type of combination you want to use it's a uh, a tape delay and also a reverb so it's very versatile you know you have a couple of settings right here where where you can have the reverb only and it's a beautiful lush um spring reverb and it's kind of important to use reverbs on your delays not all the time necessarily but because they actually wash away the delay a little bit so you kind of perceive it as farther away so you can use reverb on your delays to help set your sound stage right and then we also have this right here which is the input volume so you can hit the a unit a little bit harder to get a little bit more saturation i like to use this in conjunction with uh, the input trim of studio rack you know so because uh, sometimes i like to mix my vocals low because i don't like to hit my plugins too hard but if in a situation like this where i'm like yo i need to hit this this a plugin a little bit harder you know i will use the input trim along with the input volume then we have the peak level which is kind of like the internal uh clipper right and um you know after that you have the input send right which you know it's kind of like controlling the direct signal going in uh, to the uh, the unit, right? Because sometimes this unit can start to go into self-oscillation, which means it can do like an infinite loop, right? And that's what the uh, tape 30, um, 34 is also known for, doing, a, a, you know, an infinite loop of the tape delay and it can go on forever and there forever so i like to keep that in control sometimes also by using like a gate as well or you know i will go in there and automate it and literally like just turn the level down right and the beautiful thing about studio rack is look how quick i can get into my automation zone i can go to my galaxy echo and let's just say oh yeah i want more feedback right here i can go that i can go right there with studio rack and look i already have it like that really quickly and punching some automation so that's like the beautiful thing about studio rack in my opinion that it just makes everything so easy and accessible and the galaxy is just something that you want to use when you want to get a quick trick you know a little quick uh you know something that and as y'all can see you know there it goes like i was saying you know you have to like kind of control this plugin because it can kind of just go off and in a situation like this too i had a little bit of white noise in my lead vocal so that's why like it kind of like triggered my delay but uh let me show you really quickly So as you can see, this plugin is very special and unique, and I think it would be very well utilized on rap ad-libs, right? I see a lot of people who like to use it on drums to add a little bit of more percussive movement, which is a great way to use it as well. 
in addition to also using it maybe maybe on loops or other things like that but i love using it on some ad libs i love using it as my little tiktok machine is what i call it so um you also have the echo rate as well right which kind of like changes the uh, rate on the heads you know it has three tape heads right and you know usually with the different modes you can integrate more heads right so if you ever see like uh the the meter actually blinking it would give you a unit that isn't actually available on the hardware kind of like a setting right so if you want more repeats you go ahead and crank up the feedback you want to change the time you go ahead and go to the echo rate then you have you know some eq which is you know always important because you can make the signal sound more or less warm depending on you know how if you want to take off some top or you want to add some bass into it you can kind of give it some more warmthness or some more proximity depending on how you know the frequency is being handled you know see right here i also use the eq afterwards because you know when it starts to go into that infinite oscillation mode there's kind of like a sub build up so i just wrote off a little bit of lows on the end and right here, I had an Arvox too. You know, I just love the way that it just sounds like it's shooting through a gate. So that's why I use the Arvox just to, um, you know, as it's slowly winding down the, the echo, it kind of just has like a little bit of tightness to it. You also have this echo in this pan right here, right? So you can actually like put the echo on one side and the reverb on the other. So you can get so many amazing effects and movements here. You can go from manual to automatic with the tempo sync, which is always incredible, right? But a, a little gem that I always like to do is I, I like to automate, I like to assign you know this macro and this macro um you know all onto one thing onto studio rack right and then i kind of like to do like a reverse thing right where i can control the macro and have it going like the pan going one way and the reverb going one way so i can really just mess with the listener and like really capture their attention like i love that line that rico gave me so i went ahead and used that as an opportunity to you know juice it up you know i took the word that i liked and i dragged it down and i made an ad lib out of it so that's what you got to do sometimes as an engineer you might not have an ad lib right there so you got to manufacture your own ad lib and the uad galaxy tape is no exception to that i was also thinking about juicing it up with a mono mod you know as well giving it even more movement but that wasn't necessary here but that's something i love to do on my uh, delays you know sometimes you can add an effect to the delay such as flazer flanger or courser or anything like that and lastly what i wanted to show too is i love using autotune to get some out of the world um you know type of delays i love i just love putting the auto tune before the galaxy echo because it gives it even more modulation so modulation is actually very important you know when it comes to you know um creating movement right because that first echo isn't going to sound like the last echo right and that's why it's important to also integrate texture just like how that uad galaxy gives you a bunch of different tape heads right and you know sometimes i love to keep pushing it and bringing a phaser switch up the depth or switch up whatever they just create an overall moment for the listener you know that's what gives it um, value you know it, it generates a feeling one quote i always like to use when i'm making music or just life in general is the memory might fade but the feeling will stay you know people might not remember that there's a little drop right there or they might not even hear it you know as an engineer sometimes you got to give them something that they can't hear but they will feel right the tiktok moment which is which i think is so important it's not about the, just a social platform or tiktok it's just about the human nature right just the quick excitement the quick amount of dopamine the quick amount of adrenaline the quick amount of sweetness you know when you do it ad lib like that it's like a little a piece of candy you know you know that when you put like a starburst in your mouth and it hits your tongue it just explodes with flavor and that's what the um uad galaxy tape echo brings in it brings in flavor to your music it makes it more than just another a hey, ad lib you know more than just a telephone ad lib it makes it sound like something that's you know gives you imagination you know it makes you kind of think of a space shuttle or like how i even said it makes you think of a, a tornado and how a tornado is pulling you in a big storm right so you have to use those things as triggers to the audience to make them get a certain feeling and with the galaxy it's just so amazing because you can go with all the uad spark plugins going there with tags and boom you know you want the reverb you get it you want something sync like the uad spark is just so incredible i would genuinely recommend it because it's an all-in-one amazing package to get some analog flavor and analog juice right and if you combine the galaxy with studio rack you can get an unlimited amount of options with the automation and just start feeling so inspired and incredible so i just want to say thanks a lot for being a great part of my youtube family i'm going to continue you know going over the rest of the uad spark plugins then i'm going to give a general overview at the end this is part of my series just want to say thanks a lot for being a great part of my youtube family i do appreciate y'all now don't forget to like comment and subscribe peace